Last month, 42-year-old Eric Smith was released from prison after being locked up for 28 years. 48 Hours has been following this case since 1993, when Smith, who was 13 years at the time, killed a four-year-old boy, Derek Roby, in a fit of rage. On this week's show, correspondent Jim Axelrod looks at the controversial decision to let him go free. <laughs> we never forget our boy. He was, you know, a wonderful child, and we miss him terribly. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. For almost three decades, Doreen and Dale Roby have lived with the anguish of that day in 1993. He says, I love you, Mom. He went hopping off the sidewalk. When they learned their adored little boy had been lured into the woods, strangled, and beaten with rocks. If that wasn't horrific enough, his killer was a red-headed, freckle-faced child. Eric Smith was tried as an adult All rise. and convicted of murdering Derek Roby. So you find the defendant guilty of murder in the second degree? Yes. Smith's sentence was nine years to life. Take the young man in custody. But it would also be a life sentence for the Robies once Smith became eligible for parole in 2002. They could decide that, well, now he's done his time and we're gonna let him go. Every two years, Smith was back before the board and the Robies would have to relive their son's murder and fight to make sure his killer's parole was denied. It's not fair that we have to keep doing this. The news the Robies had been dreading came after Eric Smith's 11th appearance before the board when he was finally granted parole. And as he told WENY-TV in 2009, he had big plans for his future. I want to, you know, get married, raise a family, pursue the American dream. He's about that tall. John Tunney, who prosecuted Smith's case, says it's too early to know if that'll happen. At the end of the day, still a little bit of a gamble. Oh, no, no, it's a huge gamble. This parole decision is a high-risk enterprise, to be sure. And you can see Jim's report, Eric Smith gambling on a killer tomorrow night at 10, 9 central right here on CBS and our streaming service, Paramount+. Plus.